Today's creature is the Dumbo octopus. There are 17 documented species belonging to this genus, Grimpotuthus, with the most recent one being discovered only 20 years ago. These little guys get the unique name because they look so stupid, or because they resemble Disney's Dumbo the elephant. Not much is really known about these octopi, but here's what we do know. Dumbo octopi have been found across the globe and are benthic, benthopelagic, or pelagic creatures, meaning some chill on the ocean floor, others live near the ocean floor, and others stay clear of the dirty muck. Regardless, this genus is the deepest living genus of octopi and are usually found 3,000 to 4,000 meters under the sea. <laughs> Their average size ranges from 20 centimeters to 30 centimeters in length, but one time they found this really big, big boy that was almost two meters long. While creeping around the ocean, Dumbo's feast on invertebrates like worms, copepods, and other crustaceans. A characteristic unique to this genus is the absence or very reduced presence of a radula, which is a mouth part with several rows of teeth, meaning that they swallow their prey whole. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. Yeah. The so-called ears on these blobs are actually fins similar to those found in Squid. Unlike other types of octopi that frequently use their siphons for jet propulsion, Dumbos flap their fins as the main source of locomotion. They can still use jet propulsion for a quick getaway if need be, but in general, fins are the way to go. They also can crawl along and float and do other octopus things if they want. Dumbos are classified in a group named Umbrella Octopi due to an elongated web between their arms that resembles an umbrella when they're all spread out. I know you're thinking that these fellows look delicious. But due to the extreme depths at which they live, Dumbos don't have many predators, but an occasional shark or tuna might slurp one up. Because they live relatively fear-free, Dumbos tend to lack ink sacs, which is another trait that sets these guys apart from their relatives. Today's creature, the Dumbo octopus, gets a 9 out of 10. I really love these guys. They just harmlessly flap around on the bottom of the ocean. They have cool adaptations like the lack of ink sac and the reduced use of jet propulsion. And they look like a sad melting scoop of ice cream. Dumbos are one of the few things in the ocean that I would love to hold. And I just wish they weren't so far down in the dark, terrifying abyss. See you later, stinkies.